Hey there ladies, Manisha here, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you a Beauty Big Bang review. So I've been sent some beautiful products here from Beauty Big Bang to review for you today. And I've got some metallic 3D painting gels. So I've got four colours there. So the product code is um, U, let's get the camera into focus, U9273 and then the colour will obviously be written next to it. So the silver one is 1C, we've got a gold which is number 2, we've got a rose gold or a sort of copper colour which is 3 and then we've got a blue which is 4 and I think from memory there are two other colours, um, I think a green and a purple with the other two colours. So this is how they come, I just sort of um, taken it upon myself to rustle, rustle, rustle. Okay take it upon myself just to open the other ones up so you get an idea of what they look like out of the pack but I thought I'd just show you um, how they come in the pack and then um, because they're a gel product they come in a black um, pot which is an 8 milliliter, so it's a decent sized amount um, and it does actually have a silver foil which um, I will be removing I'll just show you on this one here I can find a tool to get into it. Um, I might just try these tweezers. So I'm just going to run it around the edge like so and then you get an idea of what the colour looks like. So it's a, as I mentioned before, it's a metallic 3D gel. So I'm hoping it's going to give a little bit of a mirror effect as well. So I'm going to be trying this out. My freehand skills are not the best. Um, but I'm going to sort of try a few simple ideas with these um, and see what I can come up with. Just show you what the gold looks like. Okay, so what's this gold look like? Let's have a look. I'm hoping it's actually going to be a muted. Oh, it is too. I'm not really too fussed on real yellowy golds, but this is gorgeous. Look at that. Check that out. So it's a really nice sort of... Um, soft champagne kind of gold not yellowy at all gorgeous oh i'm excited to use these and let's have a look at the next color have a look at this oh it's a really nice sort of a soft pinky kind of rose gold that's beautiful look at that oh i'm excited I'm so excited about using these and then we've got color number four which is the blue looks like Oh, gorgeous. Oh, look at that. Really, really pretty. So that's your four colours there. And then they've also sent me a pack of fine um, brushes. So these are like sort of art brushes. And I've got the product code right there for you. Obviously, I'll list everything for you down in the description box below, as well as direct links and also my discount code so be sure to check that out ladies i will have um as i said direct links for these and um, my 10 percent off discount code i've just gone and lost the other little they do actually come with these little plastic um protective sleeves just drop one on the floor so i don't know where that one's disappeared too but they're actually um yeah, I'll take that off and just show you close up. So there's actually three different sizes there. So you've got, a, I'll, um, if I can find out the measurements for you, I'll actually list that for you down below too. But um, you can kind of see that there are actually three different sizes there, but really nice and fine. So I should be able to get some good patterns going with these. So anyway... Um, with them being a gel product, you will have to cure them in a lamp, so I'll be doing that. I'm just going to have a bit of a play around actually on this design I've got on, which this is actually a regular polish design, but I thought I might just try something out on this um, just to show you how you can do it on your own nails. Now, um, yeah, I'm just going to see how it go. The other thing I thought I might use is a dotting tool, so I've got some dotting tools as well, so I'll pull those out and we'll have a bit of a play and see what we can come up with. Okay, so I've got everything laid out ready. I've got my little brushes here. And I've got some dotting tools. So these are sort of like double-ended ones. They've got like a um, different sizes on each end. And um, I'm just going to have a bit of a play on my nails and see how I go. So I'm going to do a, a really simple design to start off with just so I get a bit of a feel for the product. I like how this is <clears throat> been sitting 
and look at it it's gone real like mirror like it's amazing i really oh i'm so excited to use these anyway let's see how we go so let's just do a really nice simple um design to start with i might just zoom in a wee bit i'm just gonna do some dots probably should have plain nails to show these off a bit better but anyway i'm just gonna work with what i've got so I've just done a row of dots there. Hopefully they're showing up all right on camera. I'm just gonna put it where it's a little bit easier to get to. So I'll just do a second row. You probably vary the um, size of them. I'm just gonna grab um, a different dotting tool in a second. I'll just do like a second row of these. And do another couple like that and I think I might do some really fine ones on the outside edge so if I've got an even smaller dotting tool I that kind of looks about the same size <clears throat> I think this one looks a little bit smaller so I'm just gonna pop them on here oh it looks like I've got like a studded nail so cool sorry that noise you can hear clunking every now and again is my um Pandora bracelet, I think I might actually just take it off because it kind of gets in the way when I'm doing things like this. But anyway, check that out. I'm just going to cure it for 30 seconds. And I'll Okay, see. so I've cured that for 30 seconds in the lamp and, oh god, that feels really good. It's actually not, it's not sticky. It's not sticky, so it's. I think it's something you can probably do on top as like a last thing that you want to do to your nail design, but it's really cool. I like the effect it's given. So I'm going to try some more designs and see so how I'm using the um, brush and I thought I might switch to the um, gold colour and just to do something really simple. I'm really concentrating here <laughs> and then I might do let's do a dot in the center so I might just use a dotting tool and pop a little dot in the center okay so I just flash cured it, cured it for like um, 10 seconds and I thought I'll just add some other dots and things to it okay I'm realizing that my patterned base is probably not the best to show these off. I'm going to switch to um, some plain nail tips that I've got and um, see how the designs turn out on there because they're just going to be a bit more obvious to see. Like you can still kind of see these but I think they're just going to show up a little bit better on a um, plain base rather than what I've got here because it's just a bit too busy so I got will some nail tips I'm just going to do some designs with these so here you go so this is the one of the brushes that I got sent and then let's just do some different patterns and stuff on there so i might just grab the blue so i've just done a little row of dots oh, i really like this this is lots of fun actually i think um if you're really good at freehand you're going to do really amazing designs um but it's just fun just have a bit of a dabble around but it gives a really cool um effect I'll do another couple of designs um, on camera and then I'm actually going to just do them off camera and just show you at the end because it is a slow process for me um, doing freehand and I really don't want to make the video um, overly long so I'm just going to you know just show you what I'm doing show you the method show you that it is actually quite easy um, to do different designs the other idea I thought um, would be quite good 
is stamping something on and then adding this to it. So I'm not going to do that on my next swatch, but then the rest of it I'll just sort of come back at the end of the video and just show you the designs I've come up with. So I'm just using the gold here on this lemon coloured swatch stick. And I actually quite like that combination, it's quite pretty. I'll just do some more little teardrop shapes. Um, there you go, I'm just going to leave it at that because I think it looks quite cute, just nice and simple. Okay, so this next design I've done is using um, Beauty Big Bang Stamping Plate 07 and also the blue stamping polish from Beauty Big Bangs. So I'm just going to cure that under the lamp. And then this is the second design I've done. I've used the same plate again and I've used a grey stamping polish this time. Now this design is very intricate. I probably should have chosen something um, less detailed but nonetheless it does still give a really cool 3D effect. Now as I'm doing each portion of the flowers I am actually flash curing this. So I'm just going to cure it in the lamp for 10 seconds in between areas just so that I don't um, accidentally mess any of the parts up. Once I've done all the silver bits I'm just adding some gold and I will be also adding the blue colour off camera as well just to finish off all the areas in between but the video was getting really long at this stage so I didn't actually film that part for you but you sort of get the idea of what I've done here and then I'm going to cure it fully. Because okay, so I'm back with the final swatches and um, there's the little pots there I just wanted to show you how reflective um, they've become since they've been sitting. Now these two sort of look a bit more mottled but then these two are really reflective, especially the silver one anyway. But I just wanted to show you those. I don't want to cover them up. But anyway, um, these are the designs that I've come up with. So I'll just zoom in a little bit. So um, yeah, like I said before, my freehand skills aren't obviously the best. But these are three that I've just, sorry, four that I've just done freehand. Um, and then I've just added a few more. You did see me sort of starting off doing that one. I've just added a, bit, a little bit more to it. This one I've done a little bit of a sort of leaf um, veins, that type of thing. Um, this one's got a little bit of an Indian feel to, to it. That's what I think anyway. And then this one's a little bit more like a Moroccan tile type thing. So I've sort of getting a little bit more confident here when I did this one. This is the last one I did. Um, and I've just added um, more and more to it. So I've used all four colors in that design. Um, and yeah, I really like how they've turned out. So that's them there. Now these will look even more spectacular on darker bases, I'm sure. And then these are the two that I did um, on some stamping. So um, I stamped on the design using, using Beauty Big Bang plates and then I've just added these little um, centers to these. I think they look quite cute. And then this one here, I think I probably overextended myself a little bit um, and it was quite complicated, but I kind of got there in the end. I added a lot more detailing to it um, off camera because the video was just gonna get too long anyway, but I thought I'd just share those with you. And so it gives you a little bit more um, opportunity to use these if you're not very confident at doing freehand. You can actually just stamp the design on as well and then kind of use it as a, an outline um, to your design. But anyway, those are all of the, the designs I've come up with and I do hope you like them. Let me know if there's a favourite there amongst them or if you've got any of these um, metallic gel painting um, gels, should I say, from Beauty Big Bangs or you're planning on getting any because um, I just think they're absolutely stunning. I'd like to get my hands on the other two colours as well just to um, extend the amount of different types of designs you can do. But this just shows um, off the bat what kind of designs you can come up with and um, how easy it is to um, incorporate it into other types of nail art as well. And oh, there's my thumb that you saw me doing right in the start so you can actually just do like a studded effect as well. But anyway, let me know what your thoughts are down below. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'm also on Instagram. You'll find my direct link for that down below. Thank you again Beauty Big Bangs for sending these out. Um, I've really enjoyed using them. And apart from that ladies, thanks for stopping by. I hope you all have an absolutely wonderful day wherever you are. Bye for now.